Hi, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to set up your general settings for Authorize.net for WordPress. From the dashboard of your WordPress blog, you simply scroll down on the left until you get to the Authorize.net menu, and you can click directly on Authorize.net, or you can open the menu, as I have here, and click on General Settings. The two most important keys that you need are the Transaction Key and the API key. Now from within your Authorize.net account, you get those two values by going to Account, and then you scroll down, and in this Security Settings, General Security Settings section, there's a link here for API Login ID and Transaction Key. So you click on that, and the first value is right here. It's the API Login Key. So you'd copy that, and you'd provide that value here. And then, you need a transaction key. Now keep in mind that each time you generate a transaction key, the old transaction key will expire within 24 hours unless you check this box, then it will expire immediately. So after you get the new transaction key, you would copy that value and paste it in here with your transaction key. Once you've updated those two values, you click Update Settings at the bottom of the page. Now the AIM post URL, the ARB host and ARB path, those values you want to leave as the default. There was also a security seed that was generated when the plugin installed. You can leave that alone. Now the next bit you'll want to carry over are these two values. There's a silent post URL and a silent post MD5 hash. The way these work is the silent post URL allows Authorize.net to send information back to your WordPress blog every time some recurring transaction processes. That means that every future transaction that happens as a result of somebody making a recurring purchase on your WordPress blog will be updated and visible in the user subscriptions pane. But what you need to do is when you click in this field, it will automatically select that URL, right click, choose copy, and then come back over to Authorize.net, choose Account, and you want to click on Silent Post URL. And here, in the URL field, you just paste, let me just show you how that'll look. So you'll come to a blank field here, and you paste the value in, and you click Submit. And that's all there is to setting the Silent Post URL. Now, in order to validate that the information I record here in the Authorize.net for WordPress plugin is accurate, we then have to set up an MD5 hash. Now you don't need to know what that is, but what you can do is come back to Authorize.net and from your account page, under Security Settings and General Security Settings, you click on MD5 hash. And all you do, you just type in some value twice here, and you can see I typed in tricky little hash. Now this could be anything you want it to be. You just type it in twice and click Submit. And then you make sure that the exact same thing you typed in there is provided here. So that's an extra little secret between Authorize.net and your website, so you never want to give this out, that allows Authorize.net to send information that can be validated as coming from them. And it prevents people from being able to defraud your website. So those are the main points of integration between Authorize.net and Authorize.net for WordPress. Once you have those values all set up, scroll back down, click Update Settings, and you're actually ready at this point to begin processing transactions. That's it. Thanks for watching.